so I can let everybody in. There we go. All right. Yeah. Happy Friday. Actually, have some decent weather. It's shocking. It's like 50 degrees out, which is, eh, I'll take it. <laughs> Might be able to actually get some pictures outside today, so I'm a happy girl. But today, right now, we are going to play with Ipsy, BoxyCharm, Macy's, and Allure Beauty Boxes. <laughs> I'm going to swatch everything. We'll put something on the face here. Uh, already on my face, I did, you know, I always have to try foundations at least three times. Um, the new Urban Decay Face Bond. Loving this. I like because it's a self-setting foundation. And today I applied it with a sponge, believe it or not. Maybe not much of a sponge girl, but I said, I just need light coverage. I don't need full coverage, anything, you know, crazy. But definitely loving that foundation. Okay. Ipsy. Thank you so much to Ipsy for sending me over the creator box that includes the glam bag and then the boxy charm. I also purchased glam bag and boxy charm on my own. I've been with Ipsy for at least a decade, however long they've been along. <laughs> and there's also some, I guess you'd call them add-ons. Yeah, always my add-ons. And then the boxy drop shop is open. And I was a good girl this time. I did only order like three items, but that, that can always change because I never know if I'll end up going back in. But there's some definitely some good deals. All right. So first I'll start with, like I said, what Ipsy sent over. Hello, Miss Rosie. Hello, Miss Laura. Um, allergies are getting me now. Um look, thank God I'm done with uh the steroids and all that. For those of you watching may not know, I didn't film for almost two weeks, which is <laughs> unheard of with me. I ended up with uh, laryngitis at the beginning of the month. I mean, even my whole birthday was ruined. It was just catastrophe. But I am feeling better. But now it's, of course, the regular allergies kicking in. <laughs> Can't win. You know how it is. <laughs> this is this month's bag with a cute little peach out here on it. Adorable. And this month's theme is called Welcome Home. Let's see what we got there. This month, come out of hibernation, we're trying, we're trying to embrace a dreamy new world filled with heavenly makeup, plant positive faves, and vitamin powered skincare to bring out your inner glow. Uh, this Earth Month, we're embracing all things natural to show mother just how much we love her. And yeah, okay, Mother Earth knows best. And then, yeah, the Mega Drop Shop is open. It is from the 15th till the 28th. Um, there is hundreds, obviously, hundreds of hundreds of items, makeup, skincare, hair care, lifestyle products, all kinds of stuff. And everything is 30 to 80% off. And yeah, and then on April 22nd to the 24th, it'll be May's Glam Bag Choice. And then on May 1st through the 3rd, um, the bag will be revealed and the shop add-ons. And next month will be, um, I think it's next month, yeah, uh, the Icon Box. It is curated by Patrick Starr. Yay, that's going to be an awesome box, I'm sure. Okay, so in this little one, we have some uh, Biro New York Pro Berry Pore Refining Toner. Love me a good toner. Uh, billion Dollar Brows, Billion Dollar Brow Lift. Here, I already did put powder in my brows too. That was the only other thing. I should put on my primer while I'm sitting there. Let me put on some eye primer real quick. Just so we'll be ready. Ah, uh, Smashbox today. This happens to be right on top. Because okay. I, I know I have some palettes in here. Because <laughs> I know I bought some. Uh, then from Goldfaden MD, Body Surge Hydrating and Restoring Body Moisturizer. So the, the glam bag is sample size. Uh, Kiss and Smink. Never heard of this brand. Uh, Lip Aura Tinted Lip Oil in Peony. I did have a little lip balm on, so we'll take that off. Of course, I split my lip again in the center the other day. I always split it right in the center. Of what happened there. Okay, cute little squat doe foot. 
not oily. <laughs> It has the, um, just like the, that little thicker, like a bomb texture to it. It's not oily. Even though it says it's a lip oil, it has, it doesn't feel, and it's not that sticky, stringy or anything like that. All right, definitely keep trying it. Elemis Superfood Glow Priming Moisturizer. Illuminating Moisturizer. Very nice. I know who that is immediately going to. So that was the little bag. The little bag. And now we'll get into uh, Boxy, which comes in a box. <laughs> okay. In here we have the Violet Boss Pretty in Paradise eyeshadow palette. It's actually all-in-one face and eyeshadow palette. You get 14.2 grams of product across this. It does have a mirror. And we have this right here. I won't, we'll do the makeup last because we've got to figure out what we're going to play with. But I'll swatch everything as I'm going along. Okay, got two mattes here, which is this one and this one. But I'm just going to go across. <laughs> so these are your top three right here. here. Nice coppery shade. Oh my God, I found some. They're in the dryer. Not to worry, I have tons of these. Tons upon tons. Now we'll do the bottom row. Okay, there's your bottom row. So you got that other matte shade. Gorgeous. It's a peachy and a green. So there's the eye portion. And then we have coconut cream and uh, this is Island Rose. It does have those baby, you can see them right there, the little shimmers in it. The other one seems matte. We'll see if they stick or not. Or is it just, no, it goes all the way through. Okay. I wasn't sure if it was, sometimes it's just, you know, a topper. This blush has a thicker consistency to it. The sparkles stick. <laughs> that's not bad for definitely use that as possibly bronzer well it's a little orange it depends on your skin tone but again you could use any of these as eyeshadows also always feel free to use blush bronzer all that as eyeshadow <laughs> or use you know eyeshadow pink eyeshadow as blush just have fun with it uh nip and fab retinol fix eye treatment two percent 15 mils for those of you that may not know this, Nip and Fab is a sister company to Rodile, which is extremely expensive, which I happen to love, but <laughs> got a nice tube of this. But Nip and Fab is the sister brand. So you can still get great products just at a cheaper price point. Love that. Oh, oh, maybe the box just fell out in there. Okay. Uh, Borboletta Breakdown Oil-Free Makeup Remover, 100 mils. I'm guessing this is full size because it's a big bottle. Go right there. Always down for a makeup remover. When you put it all on, you got to get it off. Uh, Misha Beauty. Looks like two lip liners. Lip Liner Duo in Worthy and Beloved. Well, we're not going to open those right now. Looks like one's a peachy and one's just a slight pink to it. Okay. And then a full-sized Too Faced 24-hour lash primer. Better than sex one. So this alone's worth what 20 something dollars. Okay, put that box out of the way there. Make sure I can let you know everything here. Oh, okay. They have prices too. Uh, the glam bag, the little one, five deluxe beauty samples. We get to choose one product worth up to $70 and it's $14 a month. And then boxy charm, five full size products. We get to pick three of them. It's worth up to $200 and it's $30 a month. There we go. And even the boxy charm comes with like 
little, little reading material. Shows you things that, you know, could be in your box. It does not give you the prices, though, I don't think. Oh, a couple of them. All right, the Violet Voss palette is 43. The Lash Primer is 29. I didn't get anything else in here that has the prices. Yeah, and definitely the next icon box, all that. Fun. All right, Leave that now. Now, where's my little lipsy? Sometimes I try to keep it separate. <laughs> oh, there's mine. Okay, so same thing. Here's the little, the little peach. Am I missing stuff? I'm sure I am. Hello, Pam. Good morning. Uh, of course I did not dye my hair again. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> Thank you, though. Let's, let's look at it. You know me, I just have it full of oils. Okay, I and at, seeing that I buy these myself also, obviously I have the chance of getting doubles, which again is fine because I have plenty of girlfriends to either give them to or I just, if I like the product, I keep the double. So another of the um, Gold Fadden MD, the Body Surge Moisturizer, the Biro Toner, this one I got a little tart, big ego mascara. I'm not gonna open this because I have 500 mascaras open. <laughs> uh, Avant, this is the advanced bio restorative superfood facial oil. <laughs> they always have like the longest things. <laughs> Avant. There's one more item. I'm pretty sure I picked this. Yeah, because I would have got to pick one of the items. Uh, from Chica Beauty. This is the Fiesta Mini Eyeshadow Palette. That is the box. 12-month uh, shelf life. Vegan, recycle, clean ingredients, cruelty-free. And you get six grams of product total weight. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, they're tiny. Yeah. So six grams across nine shades. Uh, match of the top three, this one and this one, and then these four shades right here look like, I'm just going to stay like a standard shimmer. I want to swatch it anyway. Good thing I didn't put fake nails on, I would have never got them in here. <laughs> okay, the lightest one, it's there, <laughs> you can't see it. They feel all right. That's a good color. Nice copper, nice pink shade. Very nice. Like a burgundy here, a green, and then another kind of green. The shimmers are really nice. Oh, okay, this has micro sparkle it and also that very last shade, and it seems to be sticking. Some do, some don't. That's why I've always just kind of put it on and blow on it. I just know of, if you could blow on it and the sparkles fly away, if you're putting it on your eye and going to blend it, they're just going to poof off. You know, so it's like, why bother? All right, let me get that out of the way. We'll put that up there. And then my Ipsy box. Or boxy charm box. Duh. Violet Voss. <laughs> I don't know. My bad. Uh, about face. Matte fluid eye paint. Uh, I know I have a couple of these. I have to check the color. I don't want to swatch it in case I already own it. I might own this. Possible. Um, first Aid Beauty. Hydrating Eye Cream. Uh, Dr. Lily Fan, face, well, of course, 22% vitamin C serum. All right. As I'm literally going through 10 tons of skin care upstairs. Oh, nice packaging. Has a little weight to it, like that. And it does have 15 mils of product. I, I have things that are 15 mils that are this big, and then you have 15 mils that are in, like, these huge containers. 
it's like a mind thing. Uh, the Borboletta Breakdown, that, the oil. And then the Laura Mercier Caviar Ice Stick in Bed of Roses, which do I have more here? And I had a couple of them right here in front of me. I think I own Bed of Roses too. I'm not going to swatch this either. I'm pretty sure I own this. And then, and then I did pick up, like I said, of when you can like do add-ons. These were like 12 bucks a piece. So I was like, I don't care if I own them or not. And I just grabbed all three. Um, Kaali. You know, I love my Kaali perfume. So I picked up the three that were available when I was on there. So we have the Invite Only Amber 23 Intense. The Musk 12. The numbers after it means um, Mona Katam, the one who does the Cali brand. Um, you know how they have scent tests and trying it? Like the Musk 12. By the 12th one, she's like, yep, this is exactly what I wanted. Make it. So it's like 12. Like this invite Amber. It took 23 times for her to go, nope, not approved, not approved, until it got to what she wanted. Then it was approved. That's why it has that. And then one that I know I didn't have is the Deja Vu White Flower 57. So she went in hard on that trying to make sure. <laughs> I can show you what they... I'm not sure what these ones look like. When I'm out. <laughs> I have... They have double-sided roller balls, which are nice. And you have two. I think it's going to be like these here. It's just square. Something popped up. Good morning, Miss Patty. And I got more work to do upstairs. I'm almost done, though, getting my whole room ready to be working from home. It's one of those where I could have just went like, yeah, clear the desk off, and yeah, I'm done. No. I'm just, like, going ham on this room at this point. Of deep cleaning, opening every drawer, pulling everything out, just going berserk. And it's kind of nice to do a big purge and clear it all up to go. Now I'll be ready. So I've got just a little more to do today, and then I should be ready. Because I, I went to work yesterday, and I was packing up my office there. Okay, it is the square bottles. So this is the Deja Vu White Flowers. And then, like, this is Love Fest. And you do get, um, is it 10 or 15 mils of product in here? 10 mils. So 10 mils for 12 bucks. Like I said, I mean, roller balls and all these kind of things nowadays, they're, what, $30 a piece? So I'll, I'll, I'll take them at $12 all day long. Definitely. Daddy, something. Oh, she's in a meeting. She does not want to be in. We all know that feeling. Okay, so this was also that I added on and purchased. And I think I own this one too. Oh my God. I gotta stop just purchasing stuff without looking first. Um, which one am I looking for? <laughs> Well, I can swatch that one for you, too. Of course I own it. Of course I own it, because I'm insane. <laughs> Let me shut the box so I know. Okay. Uh, vintage by Jessica Liebskind. Beautiful products. I have, <laughs> of course, I bought another of the rose gold, which is this shade right here. <laughs> Ooh. Lighter this shade. I might be able to focus that in there. Just trying to get you to be able to see it either. Right there. And there's also a crystal pink shade, and these do have 8.16 grams of product. You can see this is much lighter than this. Very light pink. Hand up 
here. And that one's right across the top. <laughs> we're, we're going right across all the knuckles there. But yeah, so if you see the Jessica on there, grab it. Nice stuff. <laughs> Those out. Um, let me wipe these swatches off because we have more swatch here. Right. Got a little uh, Garnier micellar water. I'm one of these, you know, beauty towel things. I forgot the wet one. I started this. Okay, so there's again all the swatches from the first stuff. If any of you are new here, I do have a live talk show on Saturday nights. Goes from 8 p.m. Eastern time till usually about three hours, but 11 o'clock at night. And we talk about beauty, hair care, skin care, everything. Right? Whatever anybody wants to talk about. And I answer questions. I can do swatches. All kinds of fun stuff. Uh, I'm not going to be able to find it over there. All right. Uh, the Bomb Voyage Gold Coast Face Palette. You get 10 grams of product in there. Um, the Bomb went to all recyclable packaging. So there's no magnets, no anything. So on theirs, you have to take like this. It's just like a little piece of cardboard. Flip it out. And then it opens. So this little palette here. Oh, see, I got, they're falling out of the other one too. This just fell out. On the back, they do have holes. But it's also glued in. Because it made it when they first put out their new green packaging, it made it sound like, oh yeah, just push it through the back and it pops right out. And of course I broke a blush. I'm like, am I insane? This is not popping right out. I'm just going to push on one of these shadows. No. So somehow it, it's, I still had to rip the cardboard to shreds to get the pack. Cause it's not like you can let it, well, you could light it on fire if you wanted to, but it's for cardboard. I don't want to light it on fire. So what I'm going to do with mine is I have some scotch tape over here. I'm just going to put a little bit of scotch tape on the back and then stick them in. But so, cause I already know the other palette has two that are falling out also, which is weird. And again, you can use these as blush, highlighters, eyeshadows. You do you. Oh, I just wiped over my pants. Okay. And then we have the six little eyeshadows. They are tiny. That's the first three. These are really light. Oh, and they'll have little hashtag names. <laughs> hashtag sun bunny, hashtag vacation, hashtag girls getaway, hashtag sandy beaches, make waves, and tripping. <laughs> These do not feel like the normal formula they had. These are, they seem to be lacking. I don't know what's happening here. Yeah. Is it old? I don't know. Because they're these are kind of the worst swatches I've ever seen the bomb do. Here. And again, then you have to like put that little piece of cardboard back in to hold them in there. Then I also picked up the Bombina, Babies of the Bomb one here and again it has the, the little thing out and let me see which two fell out of this one I just one of those two that fell out of this one. Oh yeah okay <laughs> what is the shadow called green screen and then this deeper shade here, uh, Mail Order, which would be right here. And again, I think they're just the glues letting loose on them. Which I was trying to make sure I kept the palettes. As long as I mean, as long as it's closed, they're not going to fall out. All right, so these are already, yeah, these are, I already have all these shades, figures. 
Um, there's a highlighter, then there's Will Powder, which is a blush. Mail order is the one that fell out. That could be, it says, you know, shadow slash liner. Um, fog, which is, you know, these two are just basically eyeshadows here. Okay. Bronzilla, great bronzer, incredible. Um, it's a date blushes. Those are very nice. And then you have mail order. Again, another eyeshadow here. And then let's see what we've got. I like the singles better, I think. First three. Now this palette is watching much better. Looking for a good bronzer though. Bronzilla or um is it Bahama Mama? Or is Bahama Mama the blush? Check out their single bronzers. I have them all. They're called Take Home the Bronze. And this one, there's Greg, Tim, and there's a third one. But, you know, these are full-sized. Beautiful. Got a delivery coming. DHL. Yay. It's going to be delivery day. I have FedEx coming. I think I have everybody coming today. And these are the two shadows from the end. So those are all from the bomb. Yeah, we clean up nicely. Organic cohaba oil, organic grapeseed oil. Boyfriends aren't the only thing we recycle. Please recycle this package. And they've always had fun with the names of things and everything like that. But since they switched this packaging, it seems like the formula to me has changed a little bit also, which is kind of weird. Kind of weird. This bomb still feels nice, though. All right. What are we going to do here? We don't need that. that. Well, we're definitely going to play with the Violet Voss. And we'll play with the other little palette. We'll play with the bomb another time. So we'll play with the Chica Beauty. And the Violet Voss. And then I can scare all the UPS drivers when I... I think they're just used to it at this point. If I have two different looks on everything, they, they don't even flinch anymore. They're just like, whatever, lady. <laughs> Uh, Urban Decay brush. I'm going to go with this pink shade. Oh, I forgot to show you. Yeah, we'll do Macy's on that in a second. Should I? Yeah, let's hold on. Let's do the Macy's on the allure. I think there's other stuff in there, too. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. I just forgot about them. I'm good. This was in, it's just in here because I it was I knew it was Macy's. I did a Macy's order and this was like a free gift or something. The Bevor Ampule Concentrates. I've tried these before. They were fun. Uh, this month you got a $10 coupon code thing. Love those. Oh, I've been wanting to try this because I'm thinking of getting this with a gift certificate. Uh, the Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb Tiger Lily. It, the set notes, when I looked it up, sounds fantastic, so I have to try that, because it's in my list of things to try. Uh, Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Balm, little itty bitty mini one. The uh, uh, Macy's is $15 a month, just so you know. And you get all kinds of fun stuff. They threw in extras, oh god, they went nuts this month. Okay, I got two sponges, little triangle sponges, and then two cute hair clips. You know, Clip your hair back. Lovely. A uh, little sample of the YSL New Glow in Balm. There. Love this mascara. Back up to this already, too. Uh, the Max Stack Super Stack Mega Brush. That's a good size sample. Uh, Lancome Edel Lash Lifting Mascara. Love it. Backups of that also. There's not much 
which I don't have backup, so. Uh, this is from Nude Sticks, Nudies, Matte and Glowcore, Magenta Magic. Okay, so we got a... Oh, okay. And we'll use this. Yeah, let's see how much product we get in here. Okay. That, that's some hot pinkness there. Love nude sticks. I've never seen them do this kind of packaging. It's usually all black. Yep, matte, but it's matte with a glow core. Like, okay. And then a revitalizing sheet mask from Tony Moly and I'm Rose. Or Rose, I, I'm Rose. I'll be gifting this to one of my girls that likes Rose because I am not a Rose girl. <laughs> not my thing. But cute. Love the Macy stuff. Yay. I'm so excited I got this. That's one sample I've been waiting on because I'm like, ooh, I'm going to buy that. All right, Lure. Uh, Lure Beauty Box goes for about $23 a month, I think. I think I pay for it for the year. Because on certain bags, if you notice, of or subscription boxes, like I think I did a Lure like month to month, and I was like, oh, I really like this. Let me just pay for the damn year. Because when you buy the year, you get a discount. You know, I, I love a good discount. And Allure lets us pick products also. Not all the time, but we've gotten, past couple months, we've gotten to pick a lot. I mean, even I think last month, YSL lip balm. One of those ones are, that's what I had on when I started the video. Just a glossy, nice balm. But they gave you like four or five shades to pick from. I was like, right on. All right. Uh, Frudia. What is this? Oh, green grape pore control cream. Oh, you, you, I have something else like this upstairs, so I must have something else from this brand up there. All right. Love me some skincare. Uh, Grande Cosmetics, Grande Lash MD, Lash Enhancing Serum. Uh, this says it's a three month supply. <laughs> like I said, I have never ever purchased this product and I've been using this product for over five years easily but I only use it in my eyebrows there is no I don't trust any of those that you put against your lashes to grow my girlfriend back in the day did the original one and it did change the color of her eye a little bit and she has a permanent line on the edge of her it looks like a it almost looks like a grayish color which is bizarre of where you put the one line of this stuff, it like changed her skin color. So it almost looks like she always has eyeliner on. But I've always just used it in my brows. I already have eyebrows. I, I guess it works, but I will never put any kind of product right up against my lash line. I just, that's me. I refuse to do it because now I got two eyeballs and I'm trying to keep them. But it works great in the brow and I actually just used one up. So unless I have another midi upstairs. <laughs> Uh, what, what is this? Here's the name. By Rosie Jane. Uh, it's called Missy and it's a perfume oil. Where did I put the thing? Oh, I'm sorry. There's usually a card in here that tells you the price of everything. Cute, simple. I don't smell anything. I don't think that's what... oh, I just dropped this one. Oh, there you go. I guess you just had to get it roll on there. Very light. Very, very light. I can barely smell that. Uh, let's see what it says here. Frangin, peony, green mandarin, coconut, and pineapple. Okay. Feels like butterfly kisses and sex on the beach. Okay. Clean beauty for cool humans. Cool. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, bag bomb. That's an oldie but a goodie. Yeah, from 1899. Uh, with vitamin E, bag bomb lip moisturizer. I'll give you, like I said, price of everything here. So. Kira Stas, one of my favorites. Little mini. Uh, this is the 
Oh, my absolute. I think this is the rent out or leave in. It might be a rent out much. I don't know which one that is. And then the star of the show for this box, Charlotte Tilbury. And we got to pick a shade. <laughs> this is the beautiful skin sun kissed glow bronzer. You do get 21 grams of product, which is a boatload of products. <laughs> Literally a boatload. Nice packaging. I know I went a little deep, but I usually do with bronzers because I figure you can do it out. Let me see if I can get to the prices here. Because these are the four shades of the Charlotte. So I went with the one that's like tan, I guess. Number three. So I took this shade. $58. So it's more than double the price of the box. The Buy Rosie. Rosie Jane. You gotta be kidding me. Where did I put that damn perfume? Where did I put that? Okay, this is seven mils of product. <laughs> Never even heard of this brand. That's $45. And what is going on here? Okay, the summery blend of mandarin and coconut is reminiscent of a warm, relaxing day at the beach when by sunset your skin is scented with sunscreen and the salt of the ocean. This perfume in a rollerball easily fits in handbags or an evening or an evening clutch it would, which makes it the perfect pick-me-up for any time, anywhere. Roll it on your po po uh, pulse points, all that. I, I just think that this is just really expensive. <laughs> $45 for 7 mils. That's more expensive than the Huda or the Kaali. Crazy. Um, the Grande Lash, $68. Uh, the Bag Bomb, Moisturizing Lip Balm. Five ninety nine, six bucks, which that's reasonable. Uh, the green grape pore control mini cream is the retail price is twenty four dollars and ten cents, which is bizarre, for one point nine four ounces, so say two ounces. And the little one they sent over is 0.35 ounces included in the box, and you can buy that on Amazon. Uh, the Kirastas, which one is this? Okay, it's the gloss. Okay, this is in shower at home gloss can extend your hair color. It's like popping into a salon when your hair looks dull. One editor says my color looks vibrant when I treat it with this gloss and I've seen significant reduction in price. Y'all know I love Kerastase products. Uh, the retail price, yeah, that's right. For 210 mils, you know, full size big bottle is $58. Kerastase is expensive, but it works without a problem. And in the box, they're just saying like it's a luxe little mini version. And there you go. There you go. <clears throat> All right. I knew I had something else. <laughs> so we're gonna do the bronzer first. Oh my God, I'm still losing my voice. I know Rosie likes rose scents. <laughs> I know that. All right. We got a little motor brush here. A little stippling brush. <coughs> I still have outside the uh, the yellow stuff. I can't even think of my brain's going dead. I haven't even touched this or tried this. I'm going to yeah, dab it on this hand just to see what I'm up against here. Sometimes you don't want to see pretty on my hand. Be a little scary to just go in sometimes without knowing what is going to happen here. I mean, that does that look scary as hell in the pan. I mean, not that scary.
out and away over here. I'm gonna have this bronzer for the next 20 years. <laughs> it's huge. I'll do it on to the most trouble cost. I, this is why I love having it. I can go live on this. I don't feel like I don't have to rush around. I want to see if it was messing with the uh, foundation. That's not. Okay. Like I said, that urban sets down. And if you go too ham with it, just, you know, I don't have my foundation brush. There's my sponge. I just used a, what the hell did I just say? It's a sponge from uh, the Grease Collection from Makeup Revolution. I don't know where I'm going to put this. She's huge. I won't even fit in my little cream bronzer drawer over here. But excited to have this. All right, in my collection. Where did I put that blush? Okay. All right, we got the blush here from the Violet Voss. <laughs> this one here. It seems to pick up a lot of product. Yeah, the bird's actually chirping outside. Yeah, that's pretty. All right, now we will play with a little Fiesta and then the Violet. Let's see what's happening here. Give me a brush. I'm missing out on here. I hope I'm not missing anything. Okay. Don't want to miss out on anything. Well, here, I'll give my fluffy brush to over something here. Looks like Brenda's got some brushes to wash. Oh boy. See if I can make a semi look normal here. Yeah. I'm going to do similar looks with both palettes. All right. So I'm going to go with this shade here. It's a deeper shade. Yeah, I put it in the wrong spot. Waiting on that milk collection to show up. I bought the whole thing. I was like, screw it. Sometimes I just gotta have it all. And in reality, with that milk collection, the only thing I probably wouldn't be more apt to use is the yellow liner. So if anything, I may do like even just a brush swatch with it and give it to one of my girlfriends that I know will use it. This is just not my thing. I'm gonna use the lightest shade here. I'm just wiping the brush off on my thing. I'm trying to look in here that has no mirror. I really need a mirror here. I can't see what I'm doing two feet away. I'm gonna use this little shade underneath. Just to kind of buff in that edge. Yeah. How much color did I want to do on the lid? I'm trying to see if I can get a similar look here. No paint great either. Is this one? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. All right. Maybe I figured out what I'm doing here. Sorry. <laughs> Flat brush. 
I'm going to go with the center shade. It's kind of like, you can see it's like a copper. There's kind of a similar shade on the other side. I mean, these definitely apply much better than they swatch too. So that's why it's, you can't always go by swatches. You have to try it on your eye. Simple and easy. So I like it. I'm not done yet. I'm going to Oops, nope, jump over to the side though. All right, going with this matte shade here. I mean, it's a bit yellow, but I'll only use it this shade here, the lighter shade. A little bit of, a little too yellow. Sometimes once you get it on, it kind of just works out. Because it doesn't go much deeper in here, that's why. I'm stuck with what you got. And I'm going to use this shade here, which is again like a copper. Yeah, again, even these, for some reason, were, weren't swatching that well. And it goes on fine. Works for me. And since I do have a green in each palette, I'm going to go green on the lower lash line. <clears throat> Uh, house Labs. Oops, it's green. I always open. I always open the wrong end. It has like the smudger. Oh God, those things need to be sharpened. Yeah, it needs to be sharpened. I don't want to deal with that right now. So. Anyway, now I don't have a green eyeliner. I'm a green eyeliner queen here. Uh, Mac. This one just scroll up. I know there's different shades of green. I'm just going to use this. Fuller brush. Uh, angle brush. Little motor. Coastal scents. Something about they might be coming back. You know, if y'all saw Jen Love's video on Sunday, I was like, okay. <laughs> The green from the Violet Voss has um, like a satin finish to it, or metallic. You don't always have to put matte on the lower lash line. You do you. Always you do you. Don't worry about what everybody else is doing. I never worry about what anybody else is doing. Okay. There's that. That. I must have a highlighter on one of the bomb palettes, right? <laughs> um. 
eyeliner. I'm just going to go black. Uh, L'Oreal. Infallible. I do not want to try that mascara primer yet because, again, I don't need a mascara primer. Ooh, what do we got here? Ooh, what do we got here? I'll try this KVD one. Uh, KVD full sleeve. I don't know if I've actually tried this. It's a funky wand here. Had to have tried this, right? Because it, it, it bulbs out a little bit at the end there. I kind of like it. I don't know if this is a tubing mascara or not. I cannot remember. Do what it's saying. It definitely grabs onto those, you know, eyelashes. Jesus. Yeah, of course, I got it on my eyes. If you ever get it on your lash line, just let it dry. Just give it time, let it dry. And then you can totally take a Q-tip and pop it right off. Or take your fingernail and just lightly pop it off. Pops right off. And I guess I'll try later on. It says face palette. Yeah, I'm going to use the little highlighter here. From the bottom. It's, uh, it's called Golden Hour. So I'm used to her. Mary Lou Manic. Oh, oh okay. <clears throat> She's glowy. Right on. <laughs> Glad to know the bomb still got it in that aspect. They make killer highlighters still. All right. Not bad. I don't like the packaging without the magnets. <laughs> looking crazy today. I don't know what's happening. Here we go. Two different palettes. I mean, it's, it's close. It's close enough. Not bad. Like I said, the bomb feels nice on my lips from that little brand. All right, my loves. Noon. Time for lunch. Time to get back to cleaning <laughs> and shopping, of course. All right, everyone have a fabulous day. Appreciate you showing up to have fun with me. How long did we were on here today? Oh my God, it was almost an hour. But I did put in a lot of the boxes and doing this. Thank you, Miss Patty. Appreciate that. All right. Yeah, now I got a mess here to clean up too. It never ends. It never ends. Thank you, Laura. Yes, I'm looking forward to tomorrow night also. Oh, no problem, Patty. No problem. Ladies, have a wonderful day. Get back to work. Me too. Love y'all, and I will hopefully see you tomorrow night. And again, thanks to Ipsy for sending this stuff over. And yeah, I have tons of videos if you're new here. Over 2,400. Go into the playlist. I must be losing my voice again. you got to be kidding me. <clears throat> and there is one that's labeled Beauty Boxes. So you can see all the allure. Any beauty boxes I've ever gotten in are in. You know, I kind of do it by tabs that way. Let's hope I don't lose this voice again. Oh, no. All right. Love y'all. And I will say, Pam. <laughs> oh, have a good appointment. All right. Love y'all. I'll see y'all later soon. Bye. Mwah.